Okay, let's move now to uh, something more interesting where you're going to learn about links, anchor tags, and finally iframes. Okay, so the anchor tag. The anchor tag defines, uh, defines an anchor. An anchor can be used in two ways to create a link to another document or to bookmark inside a document by using the name attribute. So most of the time you have a website where actually you click and you go down on the author page. So how to do it? We're going to take a look. By default links will appear as follows in all browsers. Okay, if it is an unvisited link, first time you have not clicked at it. So it's going to be underlined in blue. If it is a visited link it is underlined in purple. If it is an active link it is underlined in red. Right, so these are most probably uh, the required href attribute, right? Uh, most probably A, the anchor tag, takes the href attribute that is your page link. Now, this is how we specify it. Now, let's create a page, and I, th I think two page. Okay, your HTML tag. If possible, try to nesting around it. Nesting. I mean indentation, try to indent your code if you want to be a good programmer good principle also needed okay so you're gonna have title close title and inside title let's say this is my first linked page Okay, href will specify the page in some minutes. And here you're going to save this page as link1.html. Uh, save it on the desktop if possible. In Web Basics, yes. Okay, so this is link1.html. Uh, I have created this page. Now we want to link this page to this one. Right, so that's it. Let's open link1.html on Google Chrome just to show you how things are working along. Okay, this is your first link page that you have open. So you see the title. Okay, it's a click to view another page. So let's click on to view another page. So this is a new page I have open. Now, if you want to change your content that is on this page, go back to the another page. You again use the href tag. Right. So now you may click. Uh, sorry. May refresh the page. Let's say we go here, click here, and click to go back there. Click here, click here. So this is so known as a navigation principle. Uh, if you're going to learn about human computer interaction, then it's very important for you to understand navigation techniques. Okay, and most of the you need to know where to place your links, most probably on the top, so that users can view it. Right. So I'm not going to go to human computer interaction. Let's go to web designing only. Now. 
absolute absolute link absolute link is actually your long haul address now it's very disadvantageous to use absolute link because uh, with absolute link if on my computer let's say I'm going to use absolute link to open this page that is link to HTML then basically I'll just have to right click here right and get the required source part of it where I want to open it so the complete whole address and I can just paste it here right and file is link to dot HTML right so this is a complete path almost probably the absolute path that has been generated now click to the required page go back right if I click on this page I will go to the whole link right so this is about using a whole link now if I use the same page you try to open it at your place it's going to generate an error because it will not be the same path this is why we don't try to use the absolute path basically we can use another thing around this is known as a related path related to the position I am so where this page is now I will try to translate it to another page so this is link folder okay the link folder is slash link to dot html that is where I am there is a folder there and inside this folder there is a link to dot html now let's copy link to dot html to the required pathway right so when this is copied here we have the required content here right so now let's go over here okay link to that HTML let's see mm. just go back right so link one that HTML is here right when you click on this you will get the page because it is inside the link folder so this is known as an related path and most of the time you have to use related path now you can move one directory up you think this dot dot just move one directory up to where I am the, let's say over here I'm on the link folder is it I'm inside here I go to the one folder up of it so this will get me to the required folder basics right then from there I choose file name where I want right now something very interesting that uh, most probably everyone would like to know basically we'll try to make use of iframes now iframe what is iframe you have a page inside that page you want to import another page inside it this is known iframe we'll take another part of it is frames which is in the next part of this lecture in frames what happen is you take one page you divide it into several frames we're going to see how to do a navigation complete on it right as it is clicking on the left side displaying on the right side okay so the body tags this is a page I'm creating now it depends on if, let's open link one.html as an iframe okay you use iframe tag sources link one.html right now th these take several attributes like scrolling must be enabled or scrolling must not be enabled let's save it as link to dot sorry iframe dot html right the iframe will be set there Okay, inside basics, I think it's iframe.html. Right? So, what is happening here is this is a page that I have inside, a, actually, inside a click to view another page in link one.html is being displayed inside iframe.html. Now, don't try to call me a hacker. Let's see something. I hope YouTube won't blame me now for being a hacker. I'm not going actually to hack YouTube but I'm going to import a link of YouTube over here let's see if actually I can I don't know if they have put actually uh, rights over there to import uh, scrolling and all that 
let's see if I can actually import uh, a link right so I want to get the required link obviously you will need to you will need to import the, uh, you will need to be connected to the internet Let's see. Let's put a break tag here to avoid confusion. And now, okay, I just imported a song just like this. I hope YouTube won't prevent us from opening it. If, however, we'll try to take another page, doesn't matter. Right, so okay, I think YouTube is actually preventing us from doing our content here because we don't have proper right to do it. <coughs> let's take another page, maybe google.mu, or let's try to do it like this. Okay, let's put www.iframe.dot. Okay, here it says no page has been found with this. Okay, so just with HTTP, I think it's actually preventing us. Never mind, we'll try to take another website. Okay, let's see. Again, it's preventing us. Never mind. Uh, let's say we are actually importing something like. Uh, let me find actually a page that that has no copyright or something, any right reserved for it. Right, let's see if actually it will open. If it doesn't open, never mind. Okay, actually it's loading. Right. Okay, so here I have not put uh, the correct attribute for scrolling. I'll show you how to scroll for this content. Actually, it's scrolling. You just use your mouse around. And if possible, try to put a border. Okay, so that was actually copyright, maybe preventing us from access rights was preventing us from opening the required page. But with uh, this one, you're not going to get any error. Okay, so then this one is going to give you the correct access right. Okay, so you can reload the page, it will reload it correctly. Okay, actually we can access YouTube but using XML. But I'm not going to teach you XML in my sets of videos. Maybe on advanced uh, web technologies you're going to see things along. Okay, so here we have shown you 